Hi everybody, it's Kathy and I'm back with another Dollar Tree haul. It is Tuesday afternoon and uh, I just went to the Dollar Tree again today and I am like three hauls behind. So I am going to try to get out three videos today. So watch out for my channel. The Dollar Tree is a coming. Um, this one is going to be a particularly large haul because it was. Um, so stay tuned and see what I picked up. Um, I'm going to start out with the food because uh, let's get that out of the way. Okay. First thing I picked up was this Arnold Palmer half lemonade, half iced tea. It's uh, 34 ounces. I picked up two bottles of this. Um, I use this for when I get my drink on. Um, I drink this and vodka. Let me tell you guys, this is the bomb. So I picked up two of them to have on hand for the next time I have the girls over. Sorry about my face right up in there. Um, I found the new uh, Mr. Muffins. I found the uh, strawberry filled mini muffins. You get five in a box. They're mini muffins and they're filled with strawberry. I can't wait to try these. Caroline wanted to dig into them the other day and I was like, I haven't hauled those yet. <laughs> you can't try them. Um, I picked up the blueberry ones. Also five in a pack. And then I found the ones with the chocolate fudge in the middle. Mm -mm -mm. I can't wait to try these. So they look good. I hope they are. I haven't heard anybody um, reviewing them. I've seen them pick them up, but I haven't seen them review them. So um, my food here is down on the floor. So sorry, I keep bending down. Um, I picked up a pack of Twizzlers. This is a five ounce bag of Twizzlers. Um, when I came back from Florida, we were eating Twizzlers in the car and I just had a hankering for Twizzlers. It's not something I eat all the time, but um, I picked them up because I had just recently had some and they tasted good. So um, let me just bring this bag up here. My flamingo bag. Um, this I was really excited about. I found two cans of Progresso uh, artichoke carts. Now these are not the marinated artichoke carts. I have this artichoke dip that I haven't made in a really, really long time. And I saw these artichoke carts, which are much more expensive than a dollar in the regular grocery store. This is a 14 ounce can. It's got the pull tab lid, which I totally dig. And uh, so I'm gonna try making that artichoke dip again. And these are Progresso, so they're a name brand. Uh, I picked up one container of this Supreme Tradition kosher salt, 16 ounce container. I like to use kosher salt when I cook rather than regular table salt. So I picked this up. Nice big container. It's got the um, two-sided top that you can use. So I got that. 16 ounces. You can't beat that. Uh, I picked up one of these Star Kissed tuna salads with ranch. Thought I'd give that a try. Something different. And uh, I had not seen it in the Dollar Tree before. So it's a 3.28 ounce. And it's 130 calories for the whole thing. So it makes a nice little, you know, um, lunch snack thing if you, you know, don't want to eat a lot for lunch or you're just looking for an afternoon snack. So I'm going to try that and let you all know how it is. <clears throat> and you guys, I got more of the smoked peanuts. Found a whole uh, box of them, so I picked up four more cans. These are, I know I've been raving about these. These are the smoked peanuts by Planters. Planters makes the best peanuts, and these smoked ones are the bomb. I pick up a whole bunch of cans of them because, you know, when I get together with my girlfriends, I want to want to share them with them and uh, tell them how great they are. And I still got to have some left for me. Okay, that was the food. <clears throat> Next thing I picked up was I finally found the mermaid tails, the trinket dishes. Really, really pretty. Um, I'm looking for the tail itself, the stand-up tail. 
haven't come across those yet. Um, so I picked it up in the pink and I picked it up in the green. Really pretty. I have a thing of seashells in my bathroom with sand on the bottom and uh, shells that I picked up on uh, the beach down in Florida uh, over the years. So I thought these mermaid tails would like complement those in my bathroom. So got those. Um, I picked up another one of these hobnail candles in the white. This is uh, blushed white wine. Smells pretty good. Uh, I picked this up because I chipped the one that I had so I just felt like I needed to replace it even though you can't hardly see it I know it's there so it bugs me and you know I could burn the other one this is more of like a decor type piece <clears throat> okay I have a lot of candle stuff I found um these candle holders that look like bubbles I think they're so pretty they got these ginormous stickers on them for what reason I don't know I hope they are not oh good I was just gonna say I hope they're not the kind that look like that that end up like that but hopefully that wasn't much of what was left on the sticker but I thought these were so pretty Caroline loves bubbles she'll get a kick out of them being on grandma's shelf she'll say bubbles grandma so I picked up two of those I picked up another one of these pink candle holders. I love the iridescent look of them. My lighting is not really good here, um, but the pink one was really pretty. And uh, so I picked up another one of these in the pink. Gosh, the color really is not showing up at all, but I picked it up anyway. It actually goes really well with the mermaid tail. So pick that up. I finally found um, the fish. Here's another thing with a gigantic sticker on it. I finally found the wax warmer or scented oil fish. Has the little spot in here where you put your uh, tea light. And I thought the blue was the prettiest. Um, I really liked the light blue better, but the paint job on it was really not good on any of them. I looked through like five or six of them and they were all not good. So I got the next best color that I liked and that's the blue. So this will also go with my shell and mermaid decor in my bathroom, I think. We'll see how that works out. Let me get all this ceramic stuff out of the way. And then I found this pretty angel so pretty and it says love on it and she's holding a little star um let me just to show you how tall she is because a lot of things i you see on other people's channels you go to find them in the store and they're nowhere the size that you think they are so this is you know smaller than my hand but so precious so very very cute and it says love they had another one i think that said angel on it I don't know why it would say angel on it, but obviously it's an angel. Anyway, I picked this one up. I thought it was pretty. I think um, I'm going to give this to my mom, but uh, I really like that a lot, and I picked that up. Um, let's continue with the decor stuff. Finally got my hands on these um, picture frames. They hold a two by three picture. They got the galvanized metal backing, and then this is wood. It's not wood. It might be pressed wood, but it's not like plastic wood. And then it's got the easel stand. So I picked up two of those. This, as a matter of fact, is one of the things that I thought was bigger, but it's really cute anyway. So I picked up two of those. Let's see what else do I have here, decor. I've got this picture frame that's four by six and it says family is everything. I like it because it looks like the faux wood and then it's got the fake rivets here. And then you just hold your picture on with this little clip. Thought it was really pretty. Came in a bunch of different colors with different sayings. Um, but I just picked up this one and it's got the easel back or you can hang it by this little Humi jobber right here. So I thought that was real pretty. Pick that up. Sorry about the glare. Mm, not, nah. 
All right. Anyway, you get the idea. <clears throat> um, I picked up this cross, which I thought was gorgeous. And the light is shining on it, so you cannot see it. And it says grace on it. Let me hold it up close. It says grace on it. And I loved it. And I got it for Miss Caroline because her name is Caroline Grace. So I thought that was really cute. And I picked that up for her. It's probably put in her bedroom here. Not that she has a real dedicated bedroom, but that's my... That's my uh, next endeavor is to get her set up in a bedroom here. Sorry, my extension cord is falling and I'm trying not to let it pull my camera off the table. Okay, the last decor stuff I got was I got a bunch of wall stickers. And I do mean a bunch. <clears throat> this one was new to me. See the design right there? Butterflies. And they are beautiful blue butterflies. Let me see if I can open this. I know there's a trick to this. Never done it before. Anyway, I'm not going to do it because I don't want to wreck it on camera. So, beautiful blue butterflies. Pick that up. Looks like this. Um, I picked up this new Paris wall sticker there's the top of the Eiffel Tower and then the bottom is over here and then it says the word Paris thought that was really pretty uh, I picked up two packs of these animal letters well they're actually different I didn't realize that I thought they were the same Okay, well, they're animal letters with little animals that are the letter, like E for elephant, F for fox, D for dog, A for alligator, and goes through the whole alphabet on both sides. And honestly, I thought I bought two of the same, but these are also letters with animals. So now I'll have to find one more of each of these so I have two sets of each so I got those very cute very very cute we have a new baby on the way don't know what her name is gonna be but I was gonna use one set for Caroline and one set for the new baby whatever her name is um, I picked up another set of these poster stickers just to have to do DIYs with to um, personalize stuff and then I picked up these letters very pretty I like that they're coming out with things so you can personalize stuff so I got all of those <clears throat> all right then I picked up this little kitty cat uh, canvas art thing comes with uh, no it doesn't doesn't come with an easel okay this one doesn't come with an easel but I picked this up for Caroline she loves to paint her and I painted uh, bunnies and chicks the other day actually hold on one second I'll show you it sorry guys we painted together and these are our bunny and chick that we painted together for Easter so yeah she loves to paint thought i'd show you guys those lovely little numbers okay uh i picked up a bag of these um what are they calling them glass gems because i had a big container of them and i used a ton of them to make those um burlap bunny things that i told you i made with the with the gems and the tissue paper that everybody thought was sachets. So I used up most of mine, so I picked up another pack of these to have for some other DIY. Uh, let me just keep going on this side of the table since I'm moving that way. Uh, I picked up two packages of these Uniball pens. Um, I got this one in the pink and the purple. 
and they're the color ink that they are the color of the pen. So this is a pink and a purple ink, and this one is a purple and a green. I was hoping they would have like a light blue and a green so that you didn't end up with two pens the same color, but however it worked out, you always ended up with only three different colors. Um, so I picked these up. It says Bold Vibrant Ink. They're by Uniball. Um, they're gel pens and they're 0 0.7 millimeter tip. So I picked up those to have when I need them. Picked up a beige concealer by LA Colors. Uh, the one I have is getting low, so I picked up another one of these for the circles under my eyes. Uh, I picked up one of these prayer boxes. I meant to give this to my mother for Easter. I'll just give it to her whenever. You've seen these. It says, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Comes with a little pencil. It is a pencil, right? Yeah. And a little pad of paper. And it comes with this little pencil and an eraser. So I thought that was pretty. That's Joshua 1, 9. Picked that up. They had a bunch of pretty ones, but that saying inside struck me the best. I picked up a, a pack, of, six pack of these art palettes. Um, I was just telling you how much Caroline likes to paint. So I bought a bunch of tubes of paint a while back. And this way we can, you know, put the paint in the little palettes and paint instead of buying these things with the little paints in them. So that's one of our projects and I can use this for when I do some DIYing paint, getting ready for my next craft fair, whenever that might be. Uh, I showed you guys that. Oh, I picked up this ribbon, this burlap ribbon with the white in the middle. This is nine feet and it's two inches wide. Thought it was really pretty. So I picked that up, picked up another box of the Peanuts um, Band-Aids. Very cute, look at how cute they are. Love Peanuts. And actually I cut my finger Easter day, my thumb actually, on the can of cat food when I was trying to wash it out to put it in the recycle bin. And I had a Grover Band-Aid on it, and then I had a Cookie Monster Band-Aid on it, and then I had a Shopkins Band-Aid on it. I had no regular Band-Aids, only cutesy kitty Band-Aids. But that's what happens when you're that kind of grandma. I picked up one roll of uh, washi tape, picked up this one with the foxes and the houses. I had not seen this one before, thought it was really cute. Cutesy, cutesy. So I picked that up. It's been a while since I bought some washi tape. Uh, I picked up two bags of reindeer moss because I used up all the reindeer moss that I had when I was doing my Easter DIYs for my craft fair. <clears throat> showed you that, showed you that. Okay. Um, I picked up two bottles of this soft soap. Um, I like the foaming hand soap, but... This was by Soft Soap Brand, and this is Wild Basil and Lime, and uh, it's an 8-ounce package. I opened it up in the store to see how it smelled. It smells really nice. So I picked that one up, and I also picked up the uh, Hand Wash Plus Lotion, and this one is Orchid and Coconut Milk. And... I opened this one up also in the store and smelled it. This one smells very co coconutty, if that's the word. So I picked up that one. Um, let me get this without knocking everything over, I hope. I was able to find these giant bamboo skewers. They are 32 inches and there are 12 of them. And I got them so that when I go up to Sacandaga with my friends for 4th of July, we can roast marshmallows 
without having to look for branches. That'll be fun. So, if I remember them, that's, that's what I was going to do with them. Uh, I picked up another package of these 75-pack um, of diaper disposal bags. Like I said, we got another baby coming, and we're going to need them. Got a bunch of stickers. You know me, I was going crazy with the stickers. Uh, I picked up this USA pack of Jot stickers, 87 stickers. Oh my God, the light isn't so here. Anyway, I got this one, and then it's got a bunch of 4th of July stuff on it, and then it's got the letters. I really picked this up, not so much for um, 4th of July or Memorial Day, but um, I wanted these for some of my campaign material, you know, red, white, and blue. <clears throat> Picked up the Mickey Mouse puff stickers. So cute. I had hauled the mini ones. They get 18 stickers. I picked up the mini ones because this is going to go in the giveaway, which I haven't put together yet. Um, that hopefully I will get together tonight. Picked up these Pineapple of My Eye stickers. You're the Pineapple of My Eye and Work That Crown. Thought they were really cute. They came with a bunch of notebooks and stuff. I didn't get the whole selection of them. I just got these stickers. Picked up these cactuses in the teacher section. Um, it says classroom decor, but they're 10 pieces. I thought maybe I could attach these to wood and maybe put some Mod Podge on it and just do some kind of crafty thing with them. You get 12 of them, and uh, I just thought they were super cute cactuses. So I got those. Um, I picked up this 18 count of adhesive label holders so that when I get around to doing my um, organizing, I can put these things on there. And then if I switch out what I'm going to keep in a certain bin or container, I can just pull the little paper tab out, write on it, and stick it in instead of, you know, put new labels on every time. And I don't see these all the time, so I grabbed them when I saw them. And the last sticker thing I got was these dinosaurs. I thought they were super cute. Very, very cute. And there are 15 pieces in here. I think these were originally Valentine stickers because of the hearts, but I thought they were cute and I grabbed them. Uh, picked up two more of these bins. If I can get them apart. Two more of these really cute blue bins. Love the design on them. Uh, don't think it says how big they are. It does not. And... Where is my ruler? Hold on one second, guys. I'll be right back. Right on. There it is. Got it. There it is. I've got to tell you a funny story about this. These are like nine by six and a half. Six and a half by nine is the, the circumference of this on the bottom. So... Really cute. Loving this navy color. Picked up two of those. I got to tell you this quick story. Caroline keeps picking this up and saying, here's your bacon, Grandma. Apparently she thinks it looks like bacon. I say, thank you very much, Caroline. It's not bacon. It's a ruler. Then she'll find it a little while later. Grandma, here's your bacon. So, I don't know. Apparently my ruler looks like bacon. Um, I picked up Two boxes of Kleenex brand tissues, 160 count. So name brand tissue, 160 count. Can't beat that. Um, the Scotties that are in the store right now are only 148 count. So I got name brand tissues for a dollar. I picked up two boxes. I got that design and I got this design. Um... So I couldn't believe they had Kleenex brand. Like, I enjoy the Scotties. I think they're really good. Um, I buy them all the time. But when you can get name brand tissues for the same price, plus you get 12 more tissues, 
you got to go with those, right? And finally, the last thing I'm going to show you is my online order of my plates. These are my marble plates that I ordered online. I ordered four of them. I ordered, they come in sets of four, and I didn't need eight, so I got four. These are the plates, and then I got four of the bowls. The bowls are white on the outside, so if you were to put it like this, it would look like this on your table, or like this. But I got four of the bowls and four of the plates. Super happy to have found these. I've been looking and looking for them for the longest time. Somebody hauled them months and months ago. I always look in the dish section for them, haven't been able to find them. So I was super excited when I could order them online. Um, the online order process I found to take quite a while. I don't know whether it was because of what I ordered or the amount of what I ordered, but I would say it took a good two weeks to get them because I ordered them before I went to Florida and I didn't get them until, I don't know, three, four, five days maybe after I got back from Florida, I got the notice from uh, Dollar Tree that they were available for pickup at my one of my local stores. Um, you can have them shipped to you. Maybe they come faster that way, but um, it was free shipping to the store, so that's what I did. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I think that is all of my haul, you guys. I'm sorry that it was so long, but I spent a, a dollar or two at the Dollar Tree on this particular haul. Um, so I hope you saw something you like. I absolutely love these plates. You can get them online if you're, they're not in your local store. Actually, I saw the bowls in my store the other day. Not the one I picked this up from, but I saw the bowls, did not see the plates, so I still haven't seen the plates anywhere around here. Got them really happy. So hope you enjoyed my haul. I will be back probably later on with another Dollar Tree haul after I get all this together and put it away. I will be back with another Dollar Tree haul. Thank you to all my subscribers who have stayed with me. Um, though, If you're new to my channel, hit that little word subscribe below my video. Become a part of my YouTube family. Hit the bell next to it and you'll be notified every time I upload a video. Hope you're all having a great day. It's 73 degrees here in upstate New York and I am enjoying the day. The sun has gone in, it's overcast now, but it's still warm out, so I am gonna go out and uh, enjoy some of this nice weather for a few minutes. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you in my next video. Bye now.